I'm Gwen Preston, the Resource Maven. We're here at the Metals Investor Forum in Toronto uh, on the 29th of February. I was about to say early March, yes, but leap happy year. leap day. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm joined by Larry Phillips of Compass Gold. Thanks for being here. Great to be here, Gwen. So Compass, I mean, you're in the midst of a, an ongoing drill program Absolutely. in Mali. And I'm not going to name projects because you have permits and projects and a, a large land position and you're testing a bunch of targets. So yes. Well, it, it's, it's true, uh, to put it in context, all of last year, the very first drilling was about 8,800 meters. Right. Uh, and this program is 13,000 meters to begin with for this year, and then we'll see where that first tranche takes us. So it was a small step last year, although some big results, some mm-hmm. big uh, 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 drill intercepts, uh, yet on just five percent of all of our property uh, and ground so uh, it's a systematic approach we enjoy the excitement from where we started but here uh, the next step is to see how we can branch out to find two or three of these locations uh, areas to be working on with the same kind of drilling and hopefully drill results Let's talk uh, about what you about Far- Farabakura to start with, so you right. can just set the stage a little bit for what you have found, um, yep. and that's one of the kinds of potentials that you have there. So yeah, talk about what, what you've hit into there. So Farabakura, we hit into, uh, and this would be sort of March, April of last year, mm-hmm. uh, really exciting zone uh, for, from a geological point of view, clearly two different um, systems and, and controls happening, a broad disseminated section and, and then a cross cutting of really high grade veins. Uh, we're looking for open pit mines, so first and foremost you want to find broad sections. Yeah. If you happen to drill into something that's a richer event, that's a bit of a bonus, um, but uh, uh, the, the opportunity to identify a zone that can be mm-hmm. open pitable was really the first prize. Yeah. Uh, and from there, uh, we realized structurally that this first Farabakura area, which was only 54 holes, all near surface, was right along uh, a large controlling trend. We believe this uh, shear zone is what was breaking up this granite diorite uh, mm-hmm. uh, brittle rock and creating shoots of gold and presence of gold. Yeah. Um, but it's a big target in itself. It's 15 kilometers just on our ground. Yeah. Um, so part of our work this year has been to move up, not step by step, but really to ste- uh, sort of move up five, 10 kilometers north of Farabakura to get a sense of, all right, is this a rock system and a potential host right. for something that's of that size? And so initial results gave us some good grades. Uh, we hit a little bit more of that sort of bonanza grade mm-hmm. uh, vein system. Uh, but most importantly, we're getting the data to understand direction of these uh, structures mm-hmm. and to now come back sometime later in the spring to say, all right, how best to drill through this area and replicate the results from Farabakura of last year. Yeah. And at the same time, while you're working on that section, yes, there's a there's a bunch of other targets that you're also advancing. Well, absolutely. We, uh, because our team took a very systematic approach, we covered a lot of surface with mm-hmm. sampling, geophysics, uh, near surface, as well as auger drilling. We actually entered our uh, second year of existence with 60 drill targets. Uh, this whole 15 kilometer trend, we've honed it down to nine priority targets. Right. But we actually have an obligation to go to some of the other permits and keep the work moving. Mm-hmm. We have a work uh, commitment to the government. Sure. Good news is we have three great surface targets, same sort of uh, 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 signature, if you like, mm-hmm. high grade in the soils, uh, artisanal pits in the area. That's a good indicator that the gold continues down at least to the uh, end of the water table. So all the right metrics, if you like, Mm -hmm. and uh, we can go back or actually drilling started on Thursday at Taravala of these three target areas, also large, certainly big enough to host a major deposit. um, We can get great information quickly with about 3000 meters of drilling. And so 
Between now and the end of April, uh, we expect to conclude and get the results uh, from that drilling. And then we're in a position to say, all right, the next part of the year, uh, do we go back with a single drill crew and go back up the yeah. Farabakura trend? Do we get a second or third drill yeah. crew and start fanning out? Um, we believe it's a multifaceted ground or endowment. Uh, this is the perfect way to demonstrate that yeah. to our shareholders and the rest of the market. So um, I think end of April, early May will be an important uh, uh, sort of decision point yeah. for the rest of the year. I, and, and it's cool to hear the story evolve like that because, yeah, last year it was a brand new exploration story. The market got very excited about certain results. Um, but now, like you say, you've defined a system at Farabakura that you obviously still need to understand better and expand and define. And that, so that's now that's, but now that's one leg of multiple legs where, you know, you have these other opportunities. And if they also work, then, yeah, multiple irons in the fire is always um, a better chance of success. And trying to find significant yes. irons, if you like. Uh, you know, in the vernacular, we're clearly an elephant country. We're not here to find a million ounces. We're here to find something that uh, uh, stacks up to what we've done in Mali before yeah. and, and what our neighbors are doing in mm -hmm. terms of multi-million ounce deposits. And, and to do that, you have to get at the big picture. Yeah. Uh, and you have to do it in a systematic way. Um, it, it would be possible for a junior company, if they were taking a junior company approach, to just go back to Farabakura and sure. step out 50 meters, 25 meters, and feed more of those kind Splashy of results that, that might excite mm -hmm. certain segments of the market. Uh, we have a pretty experienced group of core shareholders, and we're keeping the eye on the prize, which is we, we want to find something big and uh, uh, the value is going to be in the ground. Yeah. And that's where we need to look for it. Um, let the share price will follow. Mm -hmm. find, find what you're looking for in that regard. Share price will follow. Well, it's a, busy, uh, it's a busy spring for you for sure. I was saying to my uh, subscribers, to look at their portfolio and make sure you're aware of stocks that have you know, a lack of news or a need to finance in the next little while because they're likely to underperform. But Compass Gold is comfortably not in that, in that category. So, uh, yep, Touchwood, we've, we've had a very uh, strong track record in terms of getting the money that yeah. we need from our known group of shareholders. Uh, 25 shareholders plus management holds 70% of all the shares. So. Yeah. Getting the amount that you need, not more, not less, yeah. and getting it in a timely way, I think is the most efficient way. And, and we're expanding our, our group. So not mm -hmm. only are we bringing shareholders, but we're bringing expertise. So with Semifo coming in for yeah. $2 million, their money is great. It's coming into the treasury mm -hmm. and building value, but their expertise, their, their ability to send people to the table as part of geological strategy, yeah. next steps, what we're doing, what they've seen from their work. Uh, so it's a, it's a team effort. Perfect. Absolutely. Well, thanks for being here, and I look forward to trying to keep up with all your news as the, as the year progresses. Well, uh, we look forward to it, too. Thank you very much.